Hi, this is Jessie with the Humane Society of Huron Valley, back with you again to discuss cat body language. With cats, we are going to look at their eyes, their ears, their tail, and their general body position to figure out how they're feeling. Now, a good thing to note is that while we are going to be looking at these things individually, it's always a good idea to look at the cat's whole body to figure out how they're feeling. We can't just look at their eyes or just look at their tail to figure it out. We really need to take in the whole picture. With that, let's get started. Here are some pictures of some happy slash relaxed cats. The first thing I almost always notice with these cats are the tail. These two cats have a really great example of what we call question mark tail. And that's when the tail is sort of held straight up, but then curled over at the top and looks almost like a question mark. If these pictures were moving, the tail would be moving maybe gently back and forth, a nice sway, if you will. Um, and that's a sign of a happy, approachable cat when they have a nice question mark tail like that. What about cat eyes? Cat eyes are a little different than our eyes. Um, they have an iris and a pupil, just like us, but their pupils um, are not round. Instead, they are vertical and almost diamond-like. When a cat is happy or relaxed, we're usually looking for them to have small to medium-sized pupils, um, not taking up the whole eye, right? They're just sort of either small to medium. Ears. Ears are fairly simple. We're gonna usually look for those to just be bloop, right on, straight on top of the head, um, not doing um, anything unusual, not held to the side or things like that. And then body position. So their body position um, could be doing a couple different things. They might, like this cat in the middle, just sort of be standing, um, not hunkered down, not looking as if they're about to jump, but just sort of standing still. Uh, cats might also do what this cat is doing, which is rub up against you or an object. That cat is marking you with their scent and saying, oh, hello, you are mine. So that's usually a pretty approachable, friendly behavior from a cat and a good sign that they're feeling relaxed. Another sign that a cat is feeling relaxed and comfortable around you is if they roll over and show you their belly. Now, this is a little bit of a trick. When a dog rolls over and shows you their belly, it's usually a good sign that they want a belly rub. With cats, it's usually not. Most cats don't enjoy belly rubs, although there are a few exceptions to the rules. When a cat rolls over to show you their stomach, it actually means that they trust you. They feel comfortable enough around you because their stomach is actually a really vulnerable area. So they're not just gonna roll over and show that to you if they don't feel comfortable. So actually, this cat, I can tell, feels relaxed and safe in that spot that they are. So while I would pet any of these cats, they all look pretty friendly, I would stick to scratching their cheeks or maybe giving them an ear rub, not a belly rub. These cats all are focused, or you could maybe even say playful. Um, this cat in the middle in particular, you can see, is um, very interested in a toy in the distance. The first thing I'm going to look at with these cats is their eyes. Um, eyes, again, you might have um, small to medium-sized pupils, usually. Ears. Ears might either just be normal on top of their head, or like you can kind of see in this picture, they might even tilt their ears forward just ever so slightly, and it's almost as if they're listening very intently to what's going on. So you might see those ears crooked forward just a little bit. What about the tail? Well, the tail might be like this, where they're just holding it sort of stiff and low. They might be darting it back and forth, um, sort of like a windshield wiper on high speed. Um, those are signs that that cat is engaged and focused on something going on. And what about body position in general? Well, you can see with these cats that they look like they're either about to pounce or um, about to be on the move. So these cats um, aren't necessarily relaxed. They don't look as if they're about to take a nap. Um, they look like they're ready to spring into action if they need to. Now, I 
I'm not afraid of any of these cats, but I also wouldn't pet them right now. And that's because their body language is telling me that they're paying attention to something else right now. They're focused on something that isn't me. And just like with dogs, it isn't a good idea to go interrupt a cat. I might scare them or annoy them by interrupting what they're um, concentrating on. So for this cat in the middle, paying attention pretty closely to that toy, they probably aren't interested in my pets right now. They're interested in that toy. All right, so these cats are maybe feeling angry or upset. Um, let's look at ears. So when we looked at those other cats, we said, oh, their ears are just either normal on top of their head or they're maybe crooked forward a little bit. A couple of these cats have what we call um, airplane ears, meaning that they are holding their ears down to the side or even close to the back of their head. Usually a good sign that they're feeling agitated by something. Ears alone aren't necessarily an indication that the cat is feeling angry, but it is a sign that there's, they're upset or concerned about something. All right, and then let's just look at their general body position. So they're gonna be sort of on guard, if you will. This cat has their, their back arched, um, but their front legs almost look like they're ready to pounce or run away if they need to. Um, and then of course, almost all of these cats have their mouth open. They are most likely hissing, right? A good verbal cue that they are not comfortable and would like some space. Eyes. With eyes, we'll sometimes get um, slightly bigger pupils, and then they're also going to be probably um, slightly closed, right? This is what happens when they open their mouths up wide. It almost pushes their cheeks up to their, um, to their eyes, so they almost have some squinty eyes. And then uh, tail. Unfortunately, none of these pictures have a good indication of um, what the tail is doing, um, but the tail would most likely be either um, straight still or would be doing again sort of that quick back and forth um, windshield wiper movement. Hopefully we know that none of these cats are ready for a pet right now. And finally we have some scared cats. Scared cats do a couple different things so let's talk about those. Um, we're going to start with eyes. So a lot of times with scared cats, they're going to have very big pupils. So their pupils are going to dilate and get pretty wide in their eye. It's a sign that they are feeling a little uncomfortable. With scared cats, we also might see some of that airplane ear again, where the, um, the ears go out to the side or maybe even back along the head. Tail. Now, the tail might do a couple different things. In this case, the cat is wrapping the tail around their body almost in a protective stance, right? Keeping it close to them, making sure they, that nothing happens to it. But sometimes when they're scared, cats will do this. They will poof out the fur on their tail um, to make them sort of look more large and intimidating. And this is where the body position can get a little tricky with cats. Because even though all of these cats are feeling scared or nervous, a couple of them are doing different things. So one reaction a cat has is to say, I'm scared, but I'm going to make myself look big and intimidating so my whatever's threatening me goes away. So this cat is arching their back, poofing out their fur, and generally just trying to look bigger than they are. So hopefully they will scare away whatever is scaring them. That is one thing that cats do. Another thing that they might do is hunch down to the ground get, and get smaller. These cats are also scared, but they're saying, look, I'm small and I'm not a threat, so you don't have to mess with me. And of course, sometimes cats just might hide. Um, that is a good indication that they are not interested in interacting at that particular point in time. So this is a little tricky because scared cats might do different things. And that's why it's important to look at the whole body and not just one thing 